I want to provide a quick review of the concepts of time value of money. Now this is for people who have seen time value of money and maybe have forgotten or need a quick refresher course. Uh, if you're new to time value of money, I have some tutorials that go into much greater detail taking you through the process of the calculation. But this is for people who just need a quick refresher course. Now, you should recall that there, there are two basic things we're interested in in time value of money. The future value of something, and that's what something is worth at a later date. So if you get $100 today, how much is that going to be worth in 5 years or 10 years or 25 years? Or perhaps you're saving $10,000 a year for your retirement. How much are you going to have in your account 30 years from now when you retire? That's a future value. We also have the concept of present value. Perhaps you're receiving money in the future and we want to ask ourselves, what is it worth to us today? For example, suppose you win the lottery and you're going to receive $100,000 a year for the next 20 years. Well, many people will just take the 100000 and multiply it by 20 and say, well, that's $2 million. But you should recall from studying time value of money that it's not worth $2 million to us today because you could put a much smaller amount of money in the bank and grow it to $2 million over a 20-year period. So you don't need to receive that full amount of money. So what ties present and future value together is the interest rate. And the general formula here is that the future value let's say the future value in time period n is going to be equal to the present value and I'll use a little zero here so I'll say today because you could find the present value if you had money in year 10 you could find the present value of that in year 9 so we'll put a zero there is going to be the future value in year n is going to be the present value today times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the nth power. And you can divide both sides by 1 plus r to the nth power and you can figure out that the present value today is going to be equal to the future value in time period n divided by 1 plus r raised to the nth power. Once you've calculated present value or future value you're able to add these things together you can add you can add numbers together if they're in the same time period you can't take an amount of money received 20 years from now for example that hundred thousand dollars when you when you win the lottery and say well let me add it to the hundred thousand dollars I I received today that's two hundred thousand that's not correct what you need to do is you need to take the present value of all of those stream of payments. So for example, let's say you were going to receive money over a five-year period, you would take the future value in year one and divide it by one plus the interest rate, plus the future value in year two, and divide it by one plus the interest rate squared, okay, on and on for the five years, future value in year 5 divided by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the fifth power. So let's let's take a look at a couple of numbers here. Okay, Suppose you receive or you have a hundred dollars today and we want to ask ourselves what's the future value in year five if the interest rate is eight percent so what are we going to do we're going to say future value in year five is going to be equal to a hundred so we're going to use the formula right here times one plus the interest rate so one plus point zero eight raised to the fifth power so I can do it this way, 1.08, if I don't have a financial calculator, use my y to the x key and raise it to the fifth power, and then just multiply times the hundred, 
and I get 146 and 93 cents. So if I put $100 in my account today and I'm earning 8%, in five years I'm going to have $146.93. I can also use the financial calculator. I can use these time value of money functions here. And to clear this, you should recall that you hit second clear TVM. If you're new to the financial calculator, I have a tutorial for that as well. So the number of periods is 5, so that's what N is. The interest rate is 8%. And in the financial calculator, you put in a whole number. You don't put in 0.08, you put in 8 or you put in 8.5 for 8.5 percent. The present value is 100. And when we hit compute future value, we should get the same answer. 146.93, good. We can also calculate the present value. So suppose we said you know that the future value in year 10 is 1,000. We might want to ask ourselves, what's the present value? And let's just stay with the same 8% interest rate. So let's, let's use the financial calculator here. Clear the time value of money. We said at the number of periods is 10. The interest rate is 8%. The future value is 1,000 and we want to compute the present value so that's going to be 463.19 so basically we're solving this we're saying PV equals 1000 divided by 1.08 raised to the tenth power and it's 463.19 so if you put a if you put four hundred and sixty three dollars and nineteen cents in the bank today and you're earning eight percent in ten years you'll have a thousand dollars in your account all right the final thing for me to mention here is I want to mention the concept of an annuity an annuity if I can get my pen to work here is a stream of equal payments made at equal intervals And there's a formula for this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, stream of equal payments made at equal intervals. The example of the lottery ticket, that's an annuity. You're going to receive $100,000 a year for 20 years. <clears throat> equal payment, 100000 equal intervals, yearly. There are other things that are annuities too. They're quite common. A mortgage payment is an annuity. You might pay $2,000 a month. For a mortgage payment, a car payment is an annuity. You might have retirement benefits that pay you $3,000 a month. Those are all annuities. So there's a formula for this that makes it much easier to calculate, and it's programmed into the financial calculator. And again, I have a tutorial on annuities, so I'm not going to go into great detail here. But let's ask ourselves... Um, what that hundred thousand dollars per year for 20 years is worth today and what I'm going to assume is I'm going to assume that you receive the first payment one year from today that's what's referred to as an ordinary annuity. You can also calculate what's referred to as an annuity due where the first payment is made today. But um, again, if you want to go into greater detail, see my tutorial on calculating annuities. But here we're asking ourselves, and let's make the interest rate, we'll stay with the interest rate of 8%. What we're doing is we're calculating the present value. So we're saying, well, you get 100 k in one year divided by 1.08 plus you get 100k in two years divided by 1.08 squared okay on and on for 20 periods 
And you can do this longhand. You could calculate the present value of each one of these and then just add them up, but that's kind of tedious. So there is a formula for calculating the present value of an annuity. And again, you can see that in the tutorial. I'm just going to use the financial calculator to calculate this. So again, I'm going to clear my time value of money worksheet. Number of periods in this case is 20. We're still using 8%. The 100,000 is going to go in as a payment. And then we're going to compute the present value. So this, what seemed like $2 million, I'm not sure if I, did I put in 20 or 10? I think I put in 10, so let me just correct that. The number of periods is 20, and let me compute the present value now. Oh, oh no, that's right, 981,000. Eight hundred and uh, fourteen and seventy-four cents. So let me let me just check that again. Make sure that's correct. I'm going to clear my worksheet. Twenty periods. Interest rate is eight. The payment is a hundred thousand. And I'm going to compute the present value. And so you can see that what you thought was $2 million, if you took the 100,000 and multiplied it by 20, is actually only $981,814. So it's, it's much less because you don't have to put that amount, the full $2 million in the bank, in order to be able to withdraw this amount. So if you wanted to sell this lottery ticket, these lottery winnings to an insurance company, if, the, if they gave you an 8% interest rate, they would give you $981,814. You can also calculate the future value of an annuity, but I'm not going to do that here. Again, if you need uh, a more detailed review, please see the tutorials I've created for that. But these are going to be useful for calculating the value of, of assets. They're going to be very useful for capital budgeting where we have cash flows and we need to calculate the present value.